Adam22 recently had Kodak Black as a guest on his No Jumper podcast. And Adam did not shy away from the hard-hitting questions with the Project Baby in his L.A. studio. Adam asked Kodak about some of his past experiences with look like some drugs online that was captured on video. Take a listen. When I saw you like standing up suddenly in the middle of the interview and just kind of swam back and forth, my brain, like the part of my brain that knows what it feels like to get up was like, oh yeah, he's on a good one right there. I ain't came up here for you to <laughs> be playing detective. I'm not trying to play detective. I just... Examinator. Okay, yeah. I was just figured I would bring that up since we've talked about that so many times. I figured you might want to set the record straight. I ain't trying to exploit your bullshit. I ain't even came up here talking about your wife and that shit. Because I don't know it and I don't know you, family. You were- and then the conversation just kind of got back on track after that. So we previously reported about how I was not a fan of Adam 22 interviewing one of the four men that were involved in the robbery and death of pop smoke. I disagree with Adam's decision to do that. I don't like it. I I think it's tone deaf and I think it's a privilege that white people have in the black media space. I actually don't have a problem with him, with Adam uh, asking Kodak black a question about his, um, his drug usage. So y'all, I, I'm not one of these dudes that decided to pick up a microphone and just decided to do media. I actually went to college for this. This is actually something I've been doing my whole life. You go look me up. I've been, I've been doing this for a minute, man. And um, I know I'm young, but I started really young. I went to college for this. I studied journalism. I'm thinking about going back to school to get another degree in, in, a, in a higher realm of journalism. That's how much I love it. I love this stuff. From everything I've ever learned, the, the question that Adam asks Kodak about the drug usage is fair play, and I'll explain it to y'all why. I'll break it down as journalistically as I can. Kodak's career has been affected by something. He's been charged with things related to drug usage, right? I'm not going to say what he's done or not done because I don't know the brother. He's gotten on social media and talked about his battles and demons with drug usage. In his music, he's rapped about drug usage, right? He's even went as far as to say something along the lines of, uh, I'm taking fake Percocets, right? Kodak's career cannot be told for good or for bad without referencing your homies seem to be battling some demons. That's a part of Kodak Black's story. Y'all may say it looks like he's blindsiding Kodak with a question like that. I don't think that. I actually, I think that's a fair question. A lot of people use Vlad as an example. I don't believe that's a Vlad TV type of question. I think that's a fair question that any savvy journalist would ask Kodak. Now, the way Adam asked it, I don't think he did it the right way. I don't think his angle was the best. He tried to sell it to Kodak like, yo, I do drugs, bro. How about your drug experiences? I don't think Kodak was that receptive to the way that Adam asked that question and the angle that Adam took to ask a question like that. But it's a fair question. That's a fair question, y'all. I'm sorry. You know, I might make some people mad. That's a fair question in the journalism realm because unlike the pop smoke mess, this has clearly impacted Kodak's career. And whether you think the brother's the most talented rapper you've seen in quite some time, whether you think he should be the biggest rapper in the world, if should he be up there with Future right now, or do you still think he's killing the rap game? No matter what you think of his position in the game right now, things that have been alleged to have happened with him is a part of his story. That's a part of his story. Man gets involved in some stuff and had the president of the United States at the time pardon him. Like this is a relevant question based off what he was pardoned for, based off of what he was locked up for. Like all this stuff is, that's just a Kodak and that is a relevant question. So I'm not going to knock Adam for that question. I don't think that's a bad, I don't think that's lacking integrity right there. The problem with Adam is, is he's done the, the lack of integrity thing so much in his career, he don't have no legs to stand on. So nobody wants to hear that. And that's why he's getting more backlash over the Kodak Black conversation. I think I broke that down as best I possible. Look, man, I'm a fair man, y'all. I don't care who tells the truth. I'm going to side with the truth no matter what. I'm just be honest with y'all. Time, love, and support is what your boy would never take for granted. Y'all let me know if y'all thought Adam's question to Kodak Black about drug usage was out of bounds. I did not. I didn't think that was. 
I'm out. I have a wild goal for the month of July. I want to post 300 Facebook videos and 300 YouTube videos. I want to work so hard this month that 10,000 people will follow me on my new Instagram account, as told by Pharaoh. I'm thanking you in advance because I know y'all going to support your boy.